So this is a introduction to the Movil timeline. It's a fully free project management tool for anyone to use. No installation, no login, no accounts, no clouds, no nothing. All you have to do is type in movil.com slash timeline.html. So just go to that link and there you have it. All the things you add, all the info, budgets and dates and all this stuff isn't stored anywhere except on your PC. So everything is locally. Even if you open the Edge browser or the Chrome browser, all your data is gone. You can export all the data and you can re-import all the data to a different browser, to a a different PC, um, so that's all possible, but everything is locally stored, no login, no accounts, just really nice, really cool, super easy to use. Um, that was very important because this tool never was supposed to be public. Uh, this is, was built only for us, for us to use internally for internal planning because we've spent thousands of euros on other project management tools. None of them do what we need them to do, no matter if free or paid. So yeah, at some point after 10 years or more than 11 years now, uh, we built our own little tool that we use internally and it has exactly what it needs. Uh, this tool, yeah, we thought we we're just going to put out there for other people to use to help because I think other people probably also have this problem with project planning. Um, and yeah, and they're all spammy and annoying. And this one's just fully free. You can just use it. It's basically the blender of project management tool. So if you want to support this project, keep it free, keep it updated. You can donate, but you don't have to. It's going to be fully free. So what actually is this tool? Um, yeah, so it's a project management tool. You have a timeline right here. You have the project umbrella and each project has milestones. That's basically how it works. Each milestone you can edit in real time. So if you add something here, it will add it in real time. You can change the date or whatever in real time. Um, a very important feature for us is having currencies per budget per expenses because maybe we get USD in, but we have to uh, pay someone in Italy in euros. So yeah, that's why you have different currencies. And also about that, you can just type London. For example, when we have a client in London, we should quickly uh, check like what time is it there actually. So yeah, just all these little features that don't exist on other tools that we added just because we really need it. Uh, what's also very cool, so you can just click on a project and there's summary about a lot of things. So there's, uh, we'll check it, uh, look at that later. So there's a project summary that just gives you information. Some are like put in that you put in and some are calculated like priority high, status work in progress. That's what I set. Um, the deadline it will tell you, it will tell you the progress. So we'll calculate that. Where are we in the project? Uh, the duration, three months. So we'll calculate that based on the start and end and so on. Calculate the budget, the expensive, give you a margin, blah, blah, blah. Who's doing what? The manager, the worker. Uh, or aka the slave um, and the current milestone. So what are we doing right now? This one, let's go back to project. Uh, where is it? And uh, yeah, what's the upcoming one style I typed in premium quality. Blah, 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 blah. So a lot of information, um, not a ton though, only the necessary information and the same for milestone as you have seen and the same. Let's close this up real quick. So in the project, there's also the offer number, the invoice number, because we always lose track of that. You can just add another person, Alex and Alex is going to do uh, slavery. Um, and the thing is, when you type it in here, this person and this role will be automatically created. So the next time you type it in, there's slavery. And if you would delete it, it doesn't exist anymore. So I really like this style uh, because you don't just create everything the whole time, then delete everything. So if it exists, it exists. And if you delete it, it doesn't exist anymore. So anytime you type someone new or a new role, it will be saved and you can use it. Yeah, so let's uh, proceed and what this tool can also do. So you see there's a lot of projects. There's also, f or first here you can minimize it to really just shrink it down. But you can also, or another thing, if you go on a project, you can isolate that project. And also what's pretty cool, there's a lot of filters you can use, like just today's projects is where the timeline is cutting. That's going to be today. You can kill that filter. And you can go by client. We can go by motor vision. And okay, there's only one project for that one. But you can uh, do a lot of filters. You can check um, what is, is Elena doing just one project so you can just check you can also mix them you can also say okay today let's see what's important um, yeah so that's really cool feature that we really needed and also pretty cool feature so in the overview these are like the most important that's why we needed this tool actually to get quick information about projects um, so What's pretty cool is news. So news gives you a ton of info you can read some of them here and it just gives you when a I don't know, a milestone is going towards the end, a new project is coming, uh, stuff like that. Um, if the expenses are getting too high, because sometimes you type all these numbers and you don't like watch it and it gives you notifications. So the news is very, very cool. Um, also in project, by the way, uh, not in project, in overview, by the way, uh, if you go all the way down, there's also holidays. So up here, you can also create holidays down here. 
Um, and yeah, it will basically tell you if someone is on holidays, who is on holiday soon. You can give a little, little information like summer vacation. So four or nine days in two weeks. And all I did is just set who and uh, you can see right here. So I set who a little notification and from when to when and then it gives me a summary about that. What's also very cool. So um, when I just want to kind of check what's up with all the projects, I just go through one by one. So I can either do today's projects, so it'll be all cut by the line. I'll just check, ah, what's about Automax, ah, this, and then I can add a new note. I, uh, we actually uh, have to need to send uh, to client, blah, blah, blah. See, I can just add it real quick and then it's in there. And actually, uh, never mind, this is on hold. Or this one is actually on done. And then I'm like, ah, shit, it's already done. I didn't send an invoice yet. I'll write an invoice right now. So I'll set it to invoiced. Um, and then I can also go to that project. I can click it here. I can go to the details. Then I can add the blah, blah, blah uh, invoice number there. And yeah, and just keep track of everything. And then I'm like, okay, these are the active projects. Actually, some are on hold. Are they still on hold? No, actually, we got feedbacks for this. Let's put this on active. And actually, uh, we got feeds. Let's do it. Oh, I can't type. You know, so it's so quick. Like this is the best project management tool ever. Like no joke, at least for us, obviously you're going to have uh, different things to do. But for us, this is by far the best project management tool that I've ever seen because it just does exactly what we need. It goes so quick. Fuck. So good. Um, yeah. And yeah, basically you can also stack milestones. So if I would make this milestone longer, so uh, yeah, just click the calendar, just make it longer. It will automatically stack and like fit in. So that's also pretty nice. Um, yeah, that's, that's basically it. Um, that's pretty, oh, by the way, so on the team, if you have more people, we're 10 people. So I can also quickly check if maybe one guy is doing five projects, if one guy is doing zero projects. So it depends on your scale. If you're freelancer, you probably don't really have to look into this. But if you're like even three people, you can just kind of check like who's doing what, maybe you restored it, maybe you actually give Marcus a different project. Um, yeah, and how would you assign someone? So you can also see here just the necessary information. So here James is on working on this. You could actually, um, yeah, delete James and actually maybe James is sick or whatever. You could also add he's sick in the holiday bar. Um, yeah, now Elena is doing 3D. And yeah, also if you want to set this project uh, to a different state, so either you do it in the uh, overview. So when you like kind of go through everything, you can like set it here, we'll change here. But otherwise what also works, if you click it, it's maybe a bit easier. If you click it, you can just go to the details. Um, and yeah, you can also, by the way, we didn't look at it, the priority, but it's just noted in the summary and this would actually change the color and done is red by the way, because I always forget to invoice clients. Uh, so done shouldn't be green. So done should be very bad because that's time to invoice. And then I invoice, it's just purple. Uh, when I get paid, it's green and you can archive it and it's gone from the timeline. It's not deleted. It's just gone. You can delete it. Um, you can here, you can fully delete it and it's gone. You can undo it and it's back. But yeah, ideally you just, uh, ideally, what did I just archive? Uh, ideally you archive that one. Um, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. Um, yeah, so it's fully free for anyone to use. Uh, I hope now you actually start planning your projects and don't mess everything up. Um, yeah, I really like the activity notes. Fuck so nice. Oh, we didn't look into one thing. Um, by the way, a project can only have managers and a milestone can only have workers. That's just for us. So just like who's kind of in charge of the project. It can be the same guy, even the same guy doing the milestone can be the same guy in charge, but sometimes it's different people. Yeah. But what I want to show you actually is also a cool, obviously important feature is brief. So here you would type your style here. You can what you're delivering and some color notes or whatever per project. Yeah, um, that, that's it. That's it. Yeah, like I said, fully free, move on. Uh, if you want to support it, uh, support it. If you don't want to support it and just use it, I don't care, it doesn't make a difference to me. So have fun, good luck, and yeah, also send me feedback. If you find bugs and stuff, uh, send me feedback. If you have ideas for features to make it better, send me feedback. Um, yeah, that's it. Have fun, bye-bye.